The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 24th of March, 1660. At work, hard all day, writing letters to the council. This day Mr. Creed came on board, and dined very boldly with my lord, but he could not get to bed there. At night, Captain Isham, who had been at Gravesend all last night and today, came and brought Mr. Lucy, one acquainted with Mr. Pierce, with whom I had been at her house. I drank with him in the captain's cabin, but my business could not stay with him. I dispatched many letters today abroad, and it was late before we could get to bed. Mr. Shepley and Howe supped with me in my cabin. The boy, Eliza, flung down a can of beer upon my papers, which made me give him a box of the ear, it having spoiled all my papers and crossed me, cost me a great deal of work. So to bed. The 25th of March, 1660. Lord's Day. About two o'clock in the morning, letters came from London by our coxswain, so they wake me, but I would not rise but bid him stay till morning, which he did, and then I rose and carried them to my lord, who read them abed. Among the rest, there was the writ and mandate for him to dispose of the sink ports for choice of Parliament men. There was also one for me from Mr Blackburn, who, with his own hand, superscribes it to S.P. Esquire of which, God knows, I was not a little proud. After that, I wrote a letter to the clerk of Dover Castle to come to my lord about issuing of those writs. About ten o'clock, Mr. Ibbert, at the end of the long table, begun to pray and preach, and indeed made a very good sermon upon the duty of all Christians to be steadfast in faith. After that, Captain Cuttance and I had oysters, my lord being in his cabin, not intending to stir out today. After that, up into the great cabin above to dinner with the captain, where was Captain Isham and all the officers of the ship. I took place of all but the captains. After dinner, I wrote a great many letters to my friends at London. After that, sermon again, at which I slept, God forgive me. After that, it being a fair day, I walked with captain upon the deck talking. At night, I supped with him, and after that had orders from my lord about some business to be done against tomorrow, which I sat up late and did, and then to bed.